Greetings, all! Today, we will be examining the rare Grass-type Pokémon Pansage, the Grass Monkey Pokémon, and its exceptionally rare evolution Simisage, the Thorn Monkey Pokémon. Though they might not look to be the most threatening of creatures, the members of the Pansage family are interesting apes that can definitely use the power of the natural world to whip around those that would dare to challenge them. Pansage have traditional simian forms with two arms and legs, their feet having three toes each and their hands a large, pad-like hand form with thumb. Their lower face and torso are covered in beige hair, while the hair on the rest of their body and skin is green in color, including their thin tail, which ends in a pair of green leaves. Their ears are quite large with a light green interior and the nose is quite small, located between their large black eyes and mouth, and on the top of their head has a bush-like form to it from which minty leaves grow. Their evolved form, Simisage, have a similar color scheme to them, with a beige torso, hands, feet, and face, while the rest of them is a green in color, and the green parts of their form are now quite bushy and overgrown with hair. They have white hair on their shoulders and eyebrows, and the tail is morphed at the end into a pair of large, barbed nettle clusters. Their head is now adorned with a pompadour of shrubbery, making them look a bit taller than they actually are, and they have five fingers in each hand, complete with opposable thumbs. The members of the Pan Sage family are typical monkeys in terms of their general anatomy, but they are distinct from most others in that they have a skewed gender ratio that favors males 8 to 1, but, more importantly, are actually the victim of a parasitic variety of mentha that is a permanent part of their form as a result of the seeds germinating inside their flesh, ensuring that they are made a part of their development from the moment they are born. However, at a young stage of development, it is not entirely clear that their nature is parasitic, as they generally do not do much in the way of harm to these creatures, merely infesting their body form and causing parts of their body to have leaves, most notably their head. Here, these creatures have a bush of this mutant mentha plant growing from their head, and while this might make them look a bit silly, in truth, this is actually a boon to these creatures and especially those that are near them. The leaves of this plant actually contain a number of soothing chemical compounds that help to relax the body and whisk away weariness, and are potent enough in the case of Pansage that a single leaf is enough to cure an individual of their weariness completely and Pansage do not mind sharing these leaves with those that are in need of them. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said for their evolved form, Simisage, as the leaves in their body are so bitter and potent that they tend to make others feel numb all over, rather than heal them. Still, these creatures will gladly share their forms with others to make sure everyone around them is feeling good, and this helps to make them some of the more respected members of their natural environments. Since the plant does not really take over their forms, like other parasitic plants do at a young age, these creatures generally are able to subsist off of berries and similar things, while the plant can independently get its energy from photosynthesis. But this is not a perfect relationship, as the plant does sap some energy from them and requires these creatures to eat more food than you would suspect to sustain themselves, which also feeds into their primary possession of the gluttony ability, though those that are extremely in tune with their plant are able to possess the rare overgrowth ability instead as a hidden ability. In terms of stats, in looking at Simisage, it can definitely be said that these creatures share with many mammal Pokémon a distinct lack of serious defensive strength, having little in the way of armor to protect their bodies with only a moderate degree of stamina to work with, resulting in their base HP, defense, and special defense stats being below average for a fully evolved grass-type Pokémon. On the other hand, these creatures are able to hit fairly hard with both physical and special attacks and are incredibly agile and fast. So the base attack, special attack, and speed stats are all above average for a fully evolved Pokémon of their type. And even if they don't excel greatly in these stats, it nonetheless helps to make them well-rounded fighters that can make the most of their general anatomy and powers to lash out and deal some considerable damage against others and with the agility needed to hopefully avoid any counterattacks that might come their way. Dwelling deep in forests, Pan Sage don't have much to speak of in the way of truly amazing powers and abilities their attacks and techniques all being primarily derived from their base physical form and their parasitic plant that is a part of their form. Even so, they are easily recognized and remembered for their generous natures, as these creatures are very good at finding berries and will gladly share any food or leaves they have on them to those that need them. Since they primarily feed on berries for sustenance, this seems to work out as they almost always have some sort of food item on them at all times. This generous and happy disposition makes these creatures quite popular among younger trainers and are quite easy to train but it should be noted that there is one attribute of theirs that does make them a bit tricky to work with sometimes. For reasons that are still not entirely clear, these creatures enjoy meditating when they can in order to hone their minds and keep themselves relaxed and calm in even the most intensive situations. However, when they do this, 
They enter a sort of trance that allows them to stay mostly conscious, but causes sensory deprivation and removes their ability to speak for a short period of time, like Iwazaru, one of the three wise monkeys of Japanese origin, as they focus on keeping their minds calm and controlled. While this can make communicating with them a bit tricky as a result, this usually only lasts a few minutes at most and does not seem to do them a lot of harm, thus rendering it a minor issue that these creatures more than make up for with their wide variety of moves, especially the rare Grass Knot attack that they and only two other known types of Pokémon can learn naturally. Normally, Pan Sage are unable to evolve in any normal capacity and are able to spend most of their lives in a pseudo-juvenile state. But if they are exposed to the radiant energy of a Leaf Stone, it causes the parasitic plant in them to mutate and force their bodies to develop further to accommodate them, facilitating their evolution into Simisage. While this process strips them of the ability to learn any new moves naturally, it does give them a considerable boost to all of their stats and makes them a far more efficient combatant, but at the same time, it can make them a serious pain to have to deal with. Aside from gaining a stronger body as a whole, evolution causes the tails of these creatures to take on the primary physical characteristics of a spear thistle plant, covering the ends in tiny sharp spines that are sharp and sturdy enough to penetrate soft flesh and weak armor, and these creatures will gladly swing their tails round to bludgeon others with, driving the sharp spines into their body with repeated lashings to create a terrible wound that can ensure that their opponent does not dare anger them again or get too close to them. As far as their behavior goes, this too becomes incredibly rough, as Simisage are highly aggressive and have been known to go so far as to attack their own trainers if they are in a foul mood. This is not entirely their fault though, as this behavior is a result of the parasitic plant digging its hold deeper into the body, and especially their brain, injecting a chemical that excites their adrenal gland and makes it spit out adrenaline at a constant basis, making them quick to anger and difficult to quiet down. This can still be used to one's advantage though, as allowing these creatures to take out their aggression on an opponent can help to bring out the most in their combat abilities, even if it might make them a bit reckless and prone to attacking without orders in the worst of cases. While well, they might not be the easiest Pokémon to get a hold of in many cases, the members of the Pansage family are loyal and fun-loving creatures that can definitely be a joy to work with if they can be utilized effectively in battle. You might have to go out of your way to find a rare Leaf Stone to make the most of them, but at the very least, they can prove to be extremely agile and offensive fighters that can bring plenty of different offenses to the table and work well with anything that they have access to. Even if you don't really want to battle with them, these creatures can still make themselves of some use with their bitter leaves and are thus useful to have around. Just make sure not to take too much, as while Pansage might not mind too much, you'll be in trouble if you go picking the leaves off a Simisage without asking, courtesy of a wicked blow to the face from their thorny tails as a lesson towards your greedy ways. Thank you all for watching this video. It is always an honor to be able to speak with you all on the subject of Pokemon in a way that brings me great joy and happiness in my work. If you would like to keep tabs on past and future work, click that subscribe button, check out my work on DeviantArt, and don't be shy about following me on Twitter, where you can find pertinent announcements on upcoming work before it is officially posted. Links to both can be found in the video description. If you would like to support my work and help Miguel and I continue to produce more content for you and improve upon our presentation, please visit us at my Patreon page, which you can also find a link to in the video description. Yeah, no. With that, I thank you for watching, and I wish you well.